Me and my uncles moved from our hometown to McGregor, Iowa. Can we make something successful here? And can we make multi-million dollars? Let's find out. P.S. Thanks to G Portal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and head directly out to the field. We've been getting everything prepared this morning. We got one last field we got to go spray, and my uncle's also out there in the field as well with the Case IH. So I'm going to take the John Deere over there to the Case IH field, and I'm going to call him over here on the radio here in a second just to kind of see, make sure he wants me to start in the field and to see if he still needs help. And we got Nate. Nate's demoing me the sprayer, actually. He has a deer sprayer he also runs, so he's going to run it in the field, and we're going to see what we like better. Yeah. Yep. How are you enjoying that over there? Oh, I'm loving her. It would be cool to test the deer. I mean, if you want to test the deer, you can. She is perfectly primed. I bought her from Uncle Buck, and if anything's wrong with it, complain to Uncle Buck about it. Sounds good. Don't you drag me into this. The one who sold me the sprayer. Everything's looking really, really nice right now. Um, the sprayer right here is definitely not. Because I'm even thinking about trading my John Deere in for one of these sprayers. I mean, there's nothing really to complain about. I mean, this sprayer has its advantages and disadvantages. I mean, yes, it can go and spot spray, and I can use way less products. I've already used 94% product, but at the end of the day, he is going 20, and sometimes saving product is worth it. Sometimes it's not. It's all about the way your operation is, and that's definitely in this case with this sprayer. I think this all may right. be a little overkill for this field. What do you think? Yeah, it's fun knocking out fields super quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, we are done with that field already. Now, I got to say, the deer goes faster, but on the case you got what we call the sea and spray technology on it, which saves a ton of herbicide. But I say, what's your percentage at? 50%. I'm only at 91. Yeah, definitely pays for itself after a couple acres. And she's folded up. And so right now we're gonna go ahead and finally put the sprayer up for the year. It has been a wild one at that with this year in the spring. It's been a long, long spring season, but it feels really good to be finally saying we're done for the year and we can retire it. There's gonna be a lot of things happening over the next few months. I'm not really gonna pick up the camera unless I think we're gonna go buy two new harvesters um we're taking a loan out for those harvesters that is something we are definitely doing because we don't have no way to harvest what we planted and i know we'll make that money back very quick i did find out after the last episode i said i was getting a loan jake did deny him the offer i gave him because he said he wants to keep the arable land he said it would be better for him to keep the arable land than not so i thought it was for sale so we're not going to get that loan like we thought but my loan officer did say we could still get it for combines and stuff like that which we are going to go ahead and do all right ladies and gentlemen we're just going to be driving in town and looks like they got that new billboard up for that american farming game i swear i can't wait to play that on mobile i mean it's gonna be definitely fun and i hear it's coming out pretty pretty soon but it is july 3rd and we are heading down to the john deere dealership right now to possibly pick us up a combine or two we got loans that we can take out and we're gonna use our line of credit we gotta fill it with diesel first i think grant said he was going today too so i figured i'd time mine up with his we're gonna kind of pull on into here and get us a little bit of fuel but we're gonna head over to the John Deere dealership because Buck is working today and annoying Uncle Buck is just a pastime at this point. There's Nate. Yo, you see that American Farming sign up the road? I know. It's the best looking billboard out there. Yeah. What you get you, the game? Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. What you doing with that? Well, okay, hear me out. I got to trade this in for a combine, okay? Mm -hmm. I want Deer Combine, but I got case equipment that I got to trade in. So I'm going to try and trade this in with Buck. And I know, I know you're like, well, why don't you trade it in with me? We'll see what Buck offers and maybe I'll trade it in with you. Okay, I compliment you and you're going to go to the man that assaults you. Okay, that makes sense. We got to play good cop, good cop, bad cop. You know, if Buck shoots me a, a bad offer, then you got to come in and give me a good offer. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that this time. You're going to go trade in the case I, the beautiful case I has equipment that I pulled strings to get you for a John Deere. I see. We'll see. We'll see, Nate. Fine. I'm going to a John Deere dealer. Oh, good morning, you two. How may I be of assistance to you today? I'm actually trying to be nicer now. I'm a very happy person. I'm here to spend money. Well, I can help you with that. Don't you worry. That is the least amount of money that man has ever spent in this entire complex. I know, that's a miracle. By the way, I have a John Deere tractor. It's like a two-track tractor you might want to look at. That's at the case I used to All right, we can do that. Before we do that, I got a line of credit of 500000 I'm here to spend some of it. Okay, well, I guess what are you looking for in the market? Because uh, I need two combines, I need them cheap, and I need them easy. I need two corn headers and two, uh, two bean headers. So we got that much money, and we got a little extra on top. I don't have a corn header in right now. We can get one in on order. Order. But I have two headers. Both of them are brand new. One of them is a 45 foot auger driven. The other one is a 50 foot flex draper. The two combines that we have, the the one that was the cheapest at 72,000, just obviously went out the door. For 140,000 though, I got a 98. 
So you would be able to run one of those headers with it, at least the 45. So this is your cheapest one on lot now? This is the cheapest one we have on the lot right now, 140. Um, we can actually opt, well not opt, but we can put an extension on that mower for the top, but it doesn't have nearly as big a grain capacity as that 97 was. Okay, so we'll take her definitely. She'll be easy to go ahead and take because we need a small one now. One's got my eye right here. How much for the tracked one? So this is our most expensive one we have. This is a 2022. This was one that we ended up getting in that a clientele was going to buy and more or less didn't show up. Okay. It does not have, uh, to my knowledge, unless I just haven't investigated it yet, this one does. It has the prep for Green Star, but it does not have it installed. Why does it got a globe then? It does. Okay. Like I said, I didn't look at it yet. Okay. So we do have GPS on this one. It does have a set the sets of tracks. It does have the rear wheel assist. The pipe is not very long on this one, though. Can we extend the pipe? Yes, but it depends on which one you want. I just need one to fit one, that uh that big header right there. Uh, I'd have to talk to the department to see what that's going to run you. Even though it is brand new, that would still, at least for the fit of pipe that go on there, that's going to cost some extra money out of pocket. Because I think right now we have this one listed at 322 How much is the other one plus this one? We could probably work it down to about 320 but you got 140 over there and 320 over here. So you're looking at about 480000 Okay. Then how much are on top are the headers? Both of those headers together is 70 and 80 which that is 150 Can you knock it down to 140 We could probably work down to 140 on that. We can work down to 140 and then it, what did I say, 480 for this pair? Mm -hmm. How much are the special order of the corners that will fit on them? What are you looking for size-wise? 12, 16. Buddy, I got more corn than I do beans this year. Does that explain anything? I don't know exactly the amount of hours on it or at least like roughly how many acres are on it. But we do have a 612C coming in. Okay, so just do me a favor. We'll do it like this since beans are going to be first up on this year harvesting list for me. We'll come back. We'll revisit the corn and everything that near closer to harvest. Okay, that'll work. We'll put this in the shop then. So you do want to put the bigger pipe on this, yes. correct? Yes, we're going to put okay. the bigger pipe. I will put this in the bigger shop. We'll get that one on ready to go. That one, is that one good to go as is over there, the 98? Yes, yeah, so it's just the second harvester for an employee to run. So. so I'll get this one in the shop. We'll get it on order so that way we can have uh, parts accessible because that'll probably be about give or take with shipping what we can do for parts might be about two three weeks before we can get that done yeah, well, sounds good can you deliver them all and but i'll have to set up a service fee uh just charge them whatever that is and we'll sit let's go in your office real fast sign the paperwork and we'll go ahead and get everything paid for here's your papers thank you sir all right there you go Six hundred and twenty thousand. well we'll get oh. that 770 in the shop right away we'll see if we can get parts on order and then like i said about two three weeks roughly We'll give you a call when it's ready to go. Yeah, and I'll come by later tomorrow to pick up the uh, Case IH stuff. Sounds like a plan, sir. We'll set it in the back. Temple. Well, um, we spent a little bit of money, but we do officially own the combines and own everything we needed to own going forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got some other things to do, and I'm just going to kind of cut it here for a little bit, and I got to go take my wife out to dinner date since we bought our new headers. One eternity later. Hey, Buck. Yeah. Since you are here, I need you to help me do some things with the John Deere dealer. No. What? Oh, that I can do, yeah. We have the green equipment over here you gotta look at. Hmm, we'd probably have a market for this. 9630, that definitely would sell. Well, of course, we'll throw in the Case IH planter in so we don't have to pay for that. But since this is technically worth more, would you want the Kinsey planter also? Yeah, we could get the Kinsey sold. It might be a little easier to get rid of this one than it would be that case. Well, if nothing else, Grant trades equipment so often he'll pump, he'll buy it eventually, not knowing it's his old one. More than likely. Well, what's y'all for? Well, it depends on how many hours are on the two for the pair right now as they sit, from my guesstimation, 185. Including the planter. Including the planter? No, that'd be about another. I'd owe you about forty or fifty grand. Good lord, I paid a hundred and fifty for the for the big one. Alright, I guess I'll go on a deal. I'll load the big one up and take the big one over to the y'all shop and then y'all can come pick up the Kate John Deere the little one. I think I might just send someone over here and they'll just drive it over. Yeah, that might be the best way. Well, thank you, sir. You too. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we just dropped off everything. I'm putting my brakes on off, everything like that. And the John Deere is now here. So we're going to go ahead and wrap today's episode up. Thank y'all so very much for watching today's episode. And do what you do best. Hit the like button, subscribe if you see yourself come back on the radio. Do all of them. Appreciate y'all so very much. See you next time. Peace!